Hey everyone, Captain Pigs here, and happy birthday to my channel, which is now officially two years old. Man, what a road we have come down. From the cringiest first video that I've ever made on YouTube, to this video that you guys are watching right now. 2018 is such an amazing year so far. Probably the best year for my YouTube channel, because major things have happened. Before I talk about these things, please hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you can become a pigger and won't miss another video again. Thank you. Okay, back to what happened. So, in January to February, I started to stream videos for the first time on YouTube. Not on Twitch, but on YouTube. I started with Pokemon, Pokemon Platinum, I guess, which was a huge hit and it was a great starting stream to begin with, because it was easy. And it gained me 100 more subscribers right off the bat. Big leap for my channel, really big leap. And we got a whole new community. Also, Discord down below if you ever want to join. In March, I flew over to California to meet family and go skiing. Skiing was a lot of fun. I've, I've had a thrill. I went down a lot of runs, went down some forest runs. I tried to do tubing, but we didn't have enough time left. I got really sad. You might remember the Wolf Creek GoPro skiing video that I made, plus also the trip to San Francisco with the plane and everything. If you haven't watched them yet, make sure to do so. I will provide a link down in the description below. Skiing was a blast, and I wiped out a couple of times, but I was okay. I went down a couple blue diamonds because I was too chicken to go down a black. Way too chicken. I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. Like, it was, I saw a black, I saw the black slope, and I was, I, I just told myself, no way I'm going down that. There's no way. Because there's moguls, it was just, it was just death. It was scary. I, I'm just... Plainly, I'm, I'm just a noob at skiing. That, that's all it is. Once I came back from the uh, experience from skiing, and the days got warmer, in June I took a flight to Germany to work at a factory where my cousin works at. I worked there for a month, usually packing heavy boxes to ship at, to other factories for god knows how long. Eight hours a day, it was fun, I guess but it was also really tedious at the same time. It was also great because work was so close, I could usually walk there within five minutes, and there was a bridge across the river. I, it was pretty cool. I, I usually call it the death bridge because I, that's when I had to go to work. That stunk. One time in my apartment, I forgot to take my trash out. I don't know why, but I just forgot to take the trash out. I think I was calling somebody and I accidentally forgot to take the trash out and I saw like so many maggots, so many flies. It was so disgusting. Oh my god. I I was I, I can't even think of the thought right now. It's it's it just scarred me. It it was so bad. It smelled so awful. Oh my god. Because now whenever I hear a fly, there were like 30 flies on my windowsill. 30. Like it was just awful. Now, whenever I hear a fly, like, usually at home, I immediately get flashbacks, like PTSD from that day. It was just so, so terrible. Once I came home, man, I could relax, and I could also buy a new computer, because that's what I wanted. I wanted to improve my YouTube experience and also get some new videos done quickly. So, I bought a new gaming PC. So my friend had one, and I wanted to do the same, but he had a different one, and eventually I got a different one as well. I wanted the same ones, but eventually that didn't happen, so yeah. Once I bought it, I couldn't build it myself. It was just too complicating, and I, I just couldn't. It was, it was terrible, and I thought I broke apart, and I started freaking out, <laughs> but it was fine. It was fine. They actually built it. So, and I sent the 
parts into the computer store, and they built it for a day, because they were in a day, because they were the fastest builders in Massachusetts. They were extremely fast. It was amazing. It was an amazing experience. Once I got the computer back, I looked at it, and I just thought, wow, this thing looks amazing. There's lights flashing lights and fans galore. It was crazy. This PC Specs has a lot of different parts, so if you don't understand what I'm trying to talk about, it's okay, just look up on it. Because these parts, you probably won't understand. Some people might understand what I'm talking about, but other people will be like, what the heck? Captain, what are you talking about? I don't even know what these parts are, what even they're supposed to do. I just don't even know, okay? Alright, here we go. First, I went with an NZXT Mid-Tower S340. This case was very nice because it was white and there was a tempered glass down the middle so I could see all the parts working at the same time. It's so cool to just see everything working. I can see all the different components that make a computer up. And to be honest, it's a lot. It's a lot of parts so satisfying. So satisfying to see it all working together. Now, the PC processor is an Intel Core i7-8700K or 8700K processor, 12M cache, up to 4.70 gigahertz, I guess. It's it's a good it's a good processor. It's not the best, but it's it's pretty good. It it can get stuff done. By, I mean stuff, I mean games, and it can run pretty much a lot of other games. Now, the motherboard is an ASUS ROG Strix Z370E with RGB lighting, which is so cool because the uh, RGB, I can really see, it can just flux between different colors. It just goes, th it just goes through the rainbow. It's just so cool because then, like, Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, you know, all the, if you know the rainbow, you probably know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, for RAM, I got the 16GB Trident Z. 16GB um, is like the starting minimum RAM. You can also get 4, I wouldn't recommend it though. You probably want to upgrade later on, but for now it's good. For now, it's, 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 a, good, it's a good starter for 16 gigs. Um, Trident Z is also a really good company for RAM because they can really offer you good prices. Um, okay, now cooling is an essential part for the PC. And I bought a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, which is kind of cool. Um, it's very silent. I really like it. I like the metal metal case or the metal build for it. It's like this tower of radiator. I think I think it's a radiator. I, I don't know. Okay, uh, it's just a fan that goes into this metal part and it cools basically cools the motherboard off. It's pretty cool. For the power supply, I went with the EVGA 850 watt modular. It's it's a good power supply. I I really like it because it can power it's basically it's basically the whole entire power brick, the generator that actually powers the PC, makes all your lights work and all the fans run. It's really cool. I actually really yeah, I actually really like it. It's really powerful too. Now for storage space I went with the two key components. Us I went with a solid state drive and a hard drive. First of all, I use the solid state drive, be I use them both because I couldn't decide. I just wanted both of them. I don't know why, but I feel like I just chose both because it was better off that way. Now I went with a Samsung 250 gigabyte solid state drive and a one terabyte blue hard drive by Western Digital. These hard drives are actually really nice. The one terabyte hard drive was actually really cheap, I didn't really have to spend any money at all, it was really nice, and it was 
I don't know if it was pretty easy to install because I didn't install it. I only installed the processor and the, the processor and part of the fan. That's when I thought it would break, so I got really scared. But anyway, it's fine now. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing if if you be really if I be really quiet, you can hear it. It's pretty cool. Just that hum in the background. Um. Now comes the most exciting parts of the computer. My graphics card is an Asus ROG Strix 1080, not the TI. I wish it was the TI, but that that's really expensive. That's like a thousand dollars. But I went with the 1080 because it's a little bit less than the CI, but it's it's basically around the same level. And the TI can run at better FPS, frames per second, but it's pretty good. This is a really amazing graphics card, and it helps to run all my games smoothly. It's it's amazing. I really love it and I'll probably upgrade to the TI sometime soon, but not, not right now. It's just way too expensive. For the monitor, I got an Acer 27-inch XFO series with a 144 refresh rate. This is a really good monitor because I can see all the individual pixels and it's pretty big. It's 27 inches and I can just basically do anything with it. It's really nice. I don't have any other monitors though. I'm probably going to save up for that as well. Now for internet, I wanted to switch, I wanted to go to Ethernet, but there were no, there were no other routers or modems or anything in my room, so I had to go with a wireless adapter. Uh, they come pretty cheap if you have the money for them, and I guess it does the, it does the job, so that's a starter. For my keyboard, mouse, and microphone, I use an Apple keyboard. But I will switch to Windows soon because Apple, when I've hit the, com I'm so used to hitting the command button for all the other stuff, but when I hit command, it just pops up the window icon and I just don't like that. But I'm getting used to it quite quickly, so I'm fine with that. I use a Logitech wireless mouse and a Rode VideoMic Pro. The Rode VideoMic Pro is actually really nice. You can hear my voice pretty smoothly through it. I really like it, um, and it, you can do a lot of neat stuff with it. But I will switch to a Blue Yeti this fall. I'm really excited for it. Now for the future of this channel. Oh my gosh, I am really excited for this. I've switched my content from a PG to a PG-13 channel because I thought I could play more diverse games such as GTA, Grand Theft Auto V, and Far Cry V. Anyway, that has been the updates and features of this year for 2018. See you next time. See you later. Thanks for watching, and keep on picking, piggers. Peace out.